Hello there, fellow ranchers. I'm gonna give you a quick first use review of the County Line 10 bushel ATV manure spreader. So we just got this. Um, we have four horse stalls here and uh, we had actually skipped cleaning them for a day. We usually clean them every day. But this is a load from four horse stalls, uh, two days, which is perfect. That's not gonna spill over. You can see they live in um, uh, sawdust line stalls and they have some paddocks out there, so those were also clean. <coughs> um, so, quick uh, look over this uh, machine. Uh, when it comes out of the box uh, and the caution stickers say you must grease it before you can use it. So you'll need a grease gun. You'll need to know how to use the grease gun. There are four grease bearings, fittings. Um, here's an example of one. It's on the actuator axle hub there. And that's number one. And then there's another one down. You'll find it if you turn the thing up over uh, down there underneath the wheel. And then, of course, there's one on the other wheel bearing in the same position. And then there's one they don't explain to you, but it's it's the actuator uh, bearing, and it's under this chain guard. So you have to take those three bolts off to get to that fitting. And that's not explained in the user's manual. Um, so you need to have a, some socket wrenches and a grease gun, and that's about all you need to do to get this thing ready to go. So uh, first impression seems like really solid Good construction, strong steel, good welds. Um, these actuators are kind of a little humorous. They look like a shop class project, but um, those uh, levers, there's one on each side, you push to uh, engage the wheel. This is uh, ground driven, so you, when you're driving it around, you want the wheel disengaged so you can maneuver it. And then when you're ready to spread maneuver, you're ready to drive the actuators and the feeder. Um, you close that and it kind of implies in the user's manual that you do that with your hand. That's not really possible. You have to use your foot and you give it a good couple of kicks and it'll go in there and you give it a couple of kicks to bring it back out. And that's not explained in the manual, but that's about the only practical way to uh, move the position on those, on those levers. So I could have done a more interesting job there, but I guess this wins the Rube Goldberg Shop Project Award for, uh, for this year. Anyway, so we're gonna go out and test it in the field in a couple of minutes. I'll shoot another segment here and I'll let you know how it works. So before we go out in the field, let's talk a little bit about the towing setup here. Um, today we're using a Polaris 550 ATV, so 550 cc's, um, pretty substantial ATV. I, Real confident it'll have enough power to pull this. And then uh, we're just using a straight tang hitch off the receiver on that ATV, so no drop necessary. It looks like it matches up pretty well with that. And you can see just a pin hookup. Um, so the towing arrangement is pretty, um, pretty uh, simple. And we'll see how that works for, uh, for this load. So one thing I noticed right away is uh, pulling through the barn um, now that the spreader is loaded, the distribution drum is, is not turning, which is good. We don't want that. And um, so we didn't spill any manure on the barn floor on the way out. And here's the goats there. They're interested in what's going on too. So they've been watching. But uh, as we go over there and look at the rig, you can see the distribution drum, that silver part the bottom of the spreader is not turning, which it shouldn't until we engage it. And then there is a agitator inside there that's also driven by that chain and that'll, that'll help feed the manure down to the distribution drum. So we'll see how well that all works. Okay, I've engaged the uh, wheels on both sides to drive the drum and the actuator. Um, definitely laying down some manure there behind us. Working okay. We'll keep going and when we, get, when we get closer to the bottom, we'll see how well it deals with a partially empty bin. So I've been driving for about half a minute now, um, and most of the manure has been distributed 
it seems to be putting it out at a pretty um, light le level, which is great. I mean, it didn't take much time just to get this much distributed. I'd rather not have it all drop in a thick band. Uh, I'd rather spread it out a little further. So this is working well in terms of its distribution. I had heard about this problem of, um, or this uh, phenomena about the manure not coming down the front. Um, I know a guy that in one YouTube that said he carries a pitchfork with him to drive it back into the, into the bin. That's interesting because that yellow bar is an agitator bar, so you would think it would be feeding it. So we'll just see how that goes. I'm just going to continue to drive like this. It's a little rough here. It bounces a little bit, not much. Fairly smooth property. And uh, we'll see how much longer it takes to get rid of the last of that manure without having to you know, use a pitchfork or something to push it into the bin. Okay, so another half a minute or so of driving and it's all been distributed, so no problem there. Uh, it actually went pretty quickly, and as I said, it spread it out very thinly over a, a long area quickly, so that's about the best performance you could uh, ask for. So very satisfied with how it dealt with that load and what it did on the property out here. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, looks like a solid product, works well. I think it's gonna last. You know, these actuators are not the best design, but we'll see We'll see how that works out over time. And um, I would say this is a good spreader to get if this is the type of work that you want to do with it. Okay, just one closing comment or two on this county line 10 bushel spreader. Um, this would be a great piece of equipment if it wasn't for these actuating levers. And they do the job and they work, but they're difficult to operate. Engaging them would mean kicking in on this part, which is not too hard to do, but then they rub up against this pin, this post, which is just literally bolted through the wheel. And um, when you've just finished using it, they're pretty much stuck up against that, and you have to kick or try to push on these shorter levers, which is when you need the most leverage, it's the least help. And you can see these these um, carriage bolts, or whatever they are, um, act as a detent on either side of the axle. That's a little bit interesting design, but a little bit hokey. And I did loosen this spring to overcome most of that, so this is adjustable. And you can back that off and it makes the whole thing a little bit easier, but all in all, if there's a weakness in this, um, it's that it's these actuating levers, these engagement levers, just kind of difficult to to work with, but not impossible. Uh, by the way, I like the fact that these are seem to be solid puncture-proof tires. I do not like pneumatic or semi-pneumatic tires on my wheelbarrows and such, and so I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about these going flat ever. So that's great too. So glad I got it. Would suggest some improvements here to the manufacturer and i hope you've seen what it's all about